Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to answer bod mass or bed mass calculations. These calculations can look really complicated at first, but if you follow a set of simple rules, they're easy to tackle. So, how does bod mass and bed mass work? If I was to answer this first sum here from left to right, it would work a wee bit like this. 3 add 4 equals 7, 7 times up by 5 equals 35. Now unfortunately, that answer is wrong. And if I was to do it with a calculator, it would be completely different. With a calculator, uh, the calculator would do 4 times 5 first to get 20. And it would add on a 3 after that to give us a total answer of 23. And this answer is correct. So what is the calculator doing? that we're not doing when we're answering a question from left to right. The calculator is using the rules of bid mass or bod mass. Some people call it bid mass, some people call it bod mass, and the only difference is the second letter. Um, order and indices stand for the same sort of thing. So with bid mass or bod mass, you start by looking for brackets in your calculation. If there are any brackets in there, you do what's inside the brackets first. You then look for orders or indices. Now, orders or indices are the little number that goes above a number, sometimes a 2 or a 3, and this means the number needs to be squared or cubed. So you do that next. After that, you need to look for any division symbols or multiplication symbols. And you would do this part of your sum next. And finally, look for any addition symbols or takeaway symbols, subtraction. And th these are the parts that you do last. So let's have a look at some examples. In this first example here, we have a sum that says 2 add 4 times 3. Now I've also put a list of our bod mass rules at the side and we're going to work through them step by step. So brackets first of all. We have a set of brackets. So we do whatever is in the brackets first. So 2 at 4 gives us 6. Then we look for any orders or, orders or indices, and we don't have any of them. Then we look for any division symbols, we don't have any of them. Multiplication symbols, we do have one of them. So it would be 6 times 3. And that would give us an answer of 18. And because we don't have any addition or subtraction symbols, that is where we stop. So our final answer for this sum is 18. This next example says 17 take away 4 times 3. So once again we're going to go through our order of operations and start with brackets. We don't have any of them so we uh, miss out that step. We don't have any orders or indices so we miss that one out and we don't have any division symbols. First one we come up against is multiplication, so we need to do that first. So 4 times 3 is 12. So it's going to be 17 take away 12. We don't have any addition, so we miss that step out, and we finish by doing our subtraction. So 17 take away 12 equals 5. Okay, example number 3. In this example, we don't have any brackets, so we're going to miss that step out. We don't have any orders or indices, so we miss that step out. We do have division though, so we need to do that bit first. So we do 4, take away, uh, four divided, uh, divided by 2 first of all. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. So our sum becomes 10, take away 2. We don't have any multiplication or addition. We do have subtraction and that's where we're going to finish our sum. 10 take away 2 gives us 8. In example number 4, we've got a few different symbols in here so we need to um, go right through our list. We don't have any brackets, we do have some orders or indices. And that's this little 2 that's sitting above the other 2. And that means we need to square this number. So we need to do that first. 
2 squared is like saying 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Our new sum would be 3 times 4 take away 4. We've done our orders and indices. Any division? Nope. Any multiplication? We do have a multiplication symbol, so we need to do that bit next. That would be 3 times 4 is 12. And carry down the next bit, take away 4. We don't have any addition, so we finish once again with subtraction. So 12 take away 4 equals 8. Okay, our final example. Now the, I've saved the best of last, a really tricky one here. It's got lots of different symbols in it. So let's start with the brackets. 6 take away 1 is 5. And we'll move everything else down. So 4 times now 5 add 2 squared. Okay, so orders and indices, we've got one of them. So 2 squared, we know from the last sum, is 4. So it becomes 4 times by 5, add 4. We don't have any division, but we do have multiplication. So we need to do that next. 4 times 5 is 20. And we're going to pull down that, add 4. Addition is the last symbol we have. So we need to finish by adding these two numbers together. 20 and 4 equals 24. And that's us done. Okay, so there are all my examples. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the order operations. If you want to have a go at yourself at doing some bid mass or bod mass sums, I've got three sets of examples here. Uh, the green ones are my mild, the orange ones are my spicy, and the red ones are my hot. If you want to self-correct your work, I've put the answers on the final slide of this presentation. If you don't want to see the answers yet though, I would pause the video now. Good luck!